Hello and welcome to Thriftmas where I'm gonna go to 24 different thrift stores in my area. No repeats and I have to pull the maximum amount of value out of the store and have everything listed by the end of the video. Today I'm going to go to the Goodwill at CNU which is on Warwick and let's see what I can find. So things started off strong. I went to the scarf section which is right in the door and there were a bunch of pashmina scarves. Unfortunately, only one of them was in a condition I could resell, but I definitely picked that up. Behind the scarves, or next to the scarves, I found the sports bra, which is a Zaya Active, which I know about this brand from Hustle at Home Mom, so I picked this up. It's the first time finding Zaya Active. This um, cloth and stone piece, I'm just trying to move this out of the way, I would have picked up if I had known I was gonna get a discount at the register. This Ralph Lauren tag, this plaid tag, is a Y2K brand. I thought about picking this up. Again, I would have if I'd known I was going to get a discount at the register. But this is some hard goods. They're trying to sell a empty wine bottle for that amount of money. Don't you just love Goodwill? It's great. This is a willow tree. They wanted too much for it. These only sell for like 10 to $15, or most of them anyway. But I did see these, and orange is half off. So those are going with me for $2 for two. Absolutely. I just thought this was hilarious. I always pick these up for myself. <laughs> it just made me laugh. Um, this, again, another really neat thing. This is from Colonial Williamsburg. It's just like like fortune teller but with colonial sayings i just thought this was funny so i left this behind but i just thought it was cute i just wanted to share it i'm moving my basket out of the way because someone's trying to get through this uh thrift store is quite a bit busy Ooh, a knife block uh is it a good knife block uh we'll never know because i'm not going to turn it around oh there i go yes it is it is a J. A. hinkles block for three dollars and then I pulled this out of a new hard goods bin. This is the Royal China pattern. This is Franciscan wear and the Goodman Century pattern but it is vastly chipped. So this went back. It's Vernon wear actually but that's another mid-century piece. This is some mid-century melanine but it's not in a color that sells well so I just put that back. Um, I'm trying to show you how big this store is. This is such a huge store. Uh, I'm in the kids section and I found a pair of orange tab Levi's shorts. So I, I can't see what size it is at all. But you know what? I'm picking these up. It's half off. Absolutely I'm getting these. This is a Columbia piece I think but it's full price. That dude was weird on multiple levels. So I just passed that up. And look at this. Ah! New attack Travis Matthews. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? And it's long sleeve. And it's in great condition. I mean, it's new with tags. But, you know, sometimes they're at the thrift store because something's wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with this. Look how full my cart's getting. Oh, this is such a good thrift day. I almost picked this up for multiple reasons. Uh, I just had to show it to you because the brand and the way it looks. So I went to the scrub section and I rarely go to the scrub section and wait, did I just find figs for the first time? Yes, I did. I just found figs for the first time. Oh my goodness. And there's the, the price. I actually found so much in the scrub section. Next to the bottoms, I found the scrub tops. We got all these fun prints that nobody in my area can wear anymore. They can only wear the plain stuff. I guess unless they're a veterinarian. The veterinarians can still wear the cute prints, but again, that's why most of that's why you see so many cute prints in my area being donated is because of the fact they can't be worn anymore in most medical settings. What is this? All right. Oh, more figs. More figs. And they're new with tag! Oh my god! I can't believe it. One, two, three! Three new with tag fig tops. Oh, I'm just so stoked. So I found figs bottoms. They're not new with tags. I found a bunch of figs tops. I was like, please let there be more in here. I didn't find any more, but what a boon to have in a section I almost never look in. 
I'm so glad I'm, I'm doing this challenge. <laughs> so <laughs> this is just, I'm so giddy at this point. I'm like, all right, I definitely have to look through every single section because this is just getting too good for me. I love it. But here I am actually shopping. I don't know why I keep showing you guys or reminding myself, hey, maybe I should show myself going through the racks and it's almost always in the sleeveless section. <laughs> I don't know why that is, but it's so hard to like look at these. Most of these are all tangled with each other and I wasn't really finding anything in this section, but I figured I'd film myself go through it. Also, you see me squatting down because this particular rack was a lot lower than the other ones, which I thought was weird. But as you can see, my Goodwills actually color coordinate everything. They like, they don't do it by size, which I think would be more helpful for people trying to shop for themselves. They do it by color. I'm guessing because that's just easier in general to rack it. I'm not quite sure why that would be easier, but you know, colors are fine. So going through, again, I'm going through super quickly because I'm not finding anything. This is me trying to find a tag. I didn't find one, so I'm just keeping going. Pull you guys closer. Uh, these are actually, so each rack is six feet long and there are four of them together in this one strand that I'm showing you. So this is like, if, when I go through this whole thing or when I get to the end, that's 24 feet of rack that I'm going through. And I don't know how many of these there are, but each section is 24 feet long. So there were like three of these sleeveless top racks so that's what, 24 times three is math, 72. So it's 72 feet of just sleeveless tops. <laughs> this, again, this thrift store is just massive. I'm not finding anything. And this is unfortunately the only angle I can have you guys in. We just, we just pretend you're sitting in the cart, like swinging your legs around, watching something on your iPad. Um, Moxie is being obnoxious in the background. I'm so sorry. These are W5s. Um, I actually found two of these. I thought about getting them for myself because W5 is a brand that I personally like for myself. It's actually sold at Marshalls. It used to be sold at Anthropology. It's not anymore. Oh my goodness, Moxie. This is like the worst time for you to be scratching. But it's a brand that it doesn't have a really high resale value, even though it's made in the USA. But I do pick it up for myself. But both the W5 pieces are actually um, plastic. They're polyester, so I left them behind. We're getting to the end, guys. We're almost there. Just hang with me a little bit longer. Going through all the black, black tops, didn't find anything. All right, we found Missoni. Now, this is Missoni for Target, which actually is still worth picking up. And I know this because of my friend Victoria. This is a slight pull. I can fix that. I can fix it with a felting needle. Um, this is Coolie Bar, which this is a dress. Um, this is a brand I know about from Matt's Manifesto. I'm gonna pick it up and see what happens. See if the women sells as well as the men's do. Look at my cart, it's ridiculous. <laughs> so this is me showing you that this new tag loft piece they're wanting over $20 for, but I found new tag Travis Matthews and it was regular price. Make it make sense. Now that is a nicely full trunk. I have got quite the haul for y'all, so I do hope you have a beverage or a snack with you because uh, we might be here for a little while. I do want to preface this video by stating that I have decided that if I make a mistake, so for example, I bring something um, back home and find out it is chipped or cracked, or if I find out that something has a stain or a pull or something that makes it so it's unsellable, I'm going to pull something from my own stuff from my house uh, to replace that. So that has already happened once. That happened with my yard sale video, which if you haven't seen that, I will link that up above. Uh, I pulled two Durabar glasses um, and unfortunately one of them was cracked by the time I got it home and started to take pictures. So I've decided to pull a mug from my own personal collection to list in their place. Is this a, a high value listing? No, but I'm here to make money, not spend money. So this is just a Batman mug 
Um, it doesn't look very much like a Batman mug because this is one that changes color when you put the hot liquid into it. So I will put the listing over here so you can see what it looks like. But yeah, so this is replacing those glasses that I made the boo-boo on. And the next thing I'm gonna share with you ugh, is another mug. I had to go pick up the thing after this because it's very heavy. I actually have two of these. I found two of these you saw in the footage. This is a pair of, well, the listing is a pair of hand carved tiki mugs. They're not actually like tiki the face, but just a nice beach scene. I'm selling these together. They're wooden, they're 14 ounces. Um, this is for cold beverages, not for warm beverages. Warm beverages would be not good in this, but I found two of these, I rarely find them, and people who collect MCM stuff, Mid-Century Modern, if you don't know what the acronym is for, this is kind of like in vibe with that. And actually, uh, that's how I listed it. So, these are great. I pick them up whenever I see them. I rarely see them. The next thing that was so heavy that I had to go pull off the table is this, which you guys saw in the video. Uh, J.A. Hinkles with the two men, not the one with the one man. The one man Hinkle's knives are the cheap ones that they sell at Walmart using the good brand name to sell a lower quality item. Or I guess you used to say uh, a more affordable item because the double Zweilig J.A. Hinkle knives are actually exceptionally expensive and they are really good and they are made in Germany. This is a large knife block and this looks like it's made out of wood but it's actually bamboo and you can tell from the striations here so you see that that is not a wood pattern that is a striation from the bamboo so if you see the little knots in the bamboo in the sections that's what that is so i have this listed and i'm really <laughs> i'm really surprised to find this i did look in all of the silverware very carefully to see if there were any of the knives, but my guessing is is that they pulled the knives to sell online because Goodwill does do online eBay sales, if you did not know that, and then just put this block up because they didn't value this as much. I'm guessing because maybe they didn't have a complete knife set in here. So I picked this up too. And then I also picked up more Midas Century Modern. So this is Royal China. This pattern is called Star Glow, and I, was able to figure that out through Google Lens <laughs> because this is one of the few pieces that is not marked because this is a large platter. But if you find this pattern, this is a, a 60s mid-century piece. The brand is Royal China um, and this, the style is Star Glow. So I was really happy to find this. This was in one of the new carts that they were rolling out. Definitely if you are outsourcing and they roll out new clothing racks or they roll out new like hard good carts look there because that's where you're getting like the fresh stuff. I'm going to show you accessories next. So I did pick up two ties while I was there. Uh, the first one is a brewer tie. You guys have seen me pick up brewer ties before. This is the brand name. This one is made in France. Some of them are made in Italy and this is actually a silk blend. It is silk and cotton. This has a bee craft or B, Beecroft and Bull, which is a high-end men's shop in Colonial Williamsburg. That's not really important. Like, I doubt outside of this area you're going to find that brand. That doesn't add any value to it. I just know where it's from because, you know, I spend a lot of time in Colonial Williamsburg. I do pick up Brewer Ties when I find them, mostly because there are people that prefer this brand uh, out of all other ones. But it's just a high-end men's brand. Um, but I have bought and sold brewer ties multiple times between the 15 and the $25 range. So easy, lightweight thing to pick up. And then I also found our men gildo Zenya. I don't know how to say it. I'm going to link Matt's channel. He's the reason I know that this brand exists. Matt is thrift, thrift of life. I will also, like I said, link down below, but I know that from his manifesto and I found it. And don't, I also, just like with the Hinkle's knives, I went into the suit section and searched, hoping that I would find a suit or a blazer or something else, but I only found a tie. But these ties, 
can sell very well as well. So I have listed this. This is 100% silk and it is made in Italy. So we'll see what happens. I have listed it about like mid range of where the comps were. So excited to find this for the first time, this brand for the first time. And this thrift store is where the money is. I have made videos before about saying that this place is where the money is because there is um, the Yacht Club, the Country Club, and the Newport Hughes Golf Course are all in like this area. Plus Christopher Newport University and the previous president Tribble basically like recruited heavily from Northern Virginia. So there's also a lot of money in Northern Virginia if you didn't know. The next brand is one I've also talked about multiple times on this channel. It is Pashmina. Uh, Pashmina is a vintage and modern um, scarf company. Um, but Pashmina itself is actually a cashmere. It is a uh, better quality cashmere than just plain cashmere because plain cashmere has a certain micron density. Uh, this has an even smaller micron density, which is why it's specific to Pashmina. If you got, uh, what is that one? Vicuña? So you have like Vicuña, which is like the tippy top cashmere. Then you have Pashmina and then you have regular cashmere. So this is actually a Pashmina silk blend. And it says it right there, which makes it super easy. I have found that most Pashmina scarves, people actually keep the tags on, which is super helpful because they want people to know that this is fancy. But this is absolutely a beautiful, vibrant pink paisley. Absolutely gorgeous. They're so soft, they're so warm, and almost all of them are like in gorgeous colors. They're, whatever dye they use for this just absolutely gorgeous but I picked this up as well I have bought and sold multiple pashmina scarves I was very disappointed when I was at the thrift store because there were multiple pashmina scarves at the thrift store when I first walked in the door and I was like this is gonna be a good trip and um, unfortunately only one of them was in a condition that I could pick it up and resell it all right so now we're going to do some dresses um, the first one I'm going to start out with is this one that's hanging right here because I'm keeping it. <laughs> this is uh, Eileen Fisher. This is a 100% silk dress and I'm keeping it. One, it's beautiful. Two, it fits me. Three, it's so comfy because this is just a nice like green shirt dress. You guys know how much I love green. Uh, it also has um, some light staining on it and if I mess this dress up, trying to take those out because you can wash silk, I want it to be on me. So what I've done to replace this dress is I've pulled a dress from my own closet to replace it. And is it equivalent value? No, um, this is not uh, Full Metal Alchemist. We are not doing equivalent exchange here. We're just doing kind of equivalent exchange here. So this is a J. Crew dress I have worn multiple times. Unfortunately, my gluteus maximus is more maximus than gluteus anymore. So uh, I don't, I can't fit in this anymore, but I have worn this multiple times. It is a sweatshirt dress. So it's perfect for this time of year. Someone to, wanting to be cute and comfy and also warm. This is a great dress. I was very sad when I tried this on recently and it, it, it went over my body, but I was not comfortable in it anymore. So, so this is hopefully gonna find a new home and someone else will love it as much as I did. Maxie, what are you doing back there? Hi, can you guys see her? Hi, what are you doing? Are you hiding? It was like this and I was like, what is going on? All right, we're gonna make it so you can't mess up the nice little dress that I wanna actually keep and wear and hopefully not ruin. So let's make sure definitely won't ruin it. Give me a second. The next dress, is it a dress? I don't know. It's like, it's like overalls, but a dress. Um, I think I made a mistake and washed this. And the reason why I say I think I made a mistake and washed this is because I didn't realize until I was taking photographs of it that it was still um, stitched back here. So if you ever see a suit jacket or a dress that has this like w big X on the back here, that that's normally stitched together so it doesn't get like ripped or torn. The seam doesn't get ripped or torn while it's in transit. And you're supposed to cut that out when um, you wear it. So I feel like maybe this was new without tags and then I washed it uh, because I didn't notice that. <laughs> and I wash everything before 
uh, I list it. So, uh, oh well, I will just list this as pre-owned, <laughs> which I should I probably would have done anyway. But this is Kate Spade, and it is her Saturday line, which I think is a diffusion like lower end line of Kate Spade. And it's a size zero. I got this because it's so cute. It's just super cute. It's a nice little like overall dress. I mean, kind of dirndly, but like not really because this is not what a dirndl looks like. It's just, it's just cute and it's bright red and I figure someone could wear this for the holidays. Uh, like with a nice little like Christmas sweater underneath of it or over it. I just thought this was a cute dress. So I picked this up as well. And then I just mentioned Matt and another brand that I did not know about before getting his manifesto is Cooley Bar. Now, the, of course, his, it's a manifesto for him, but there is some crossover with women, women's brands. Cooley Bar is a golf brand, uh, and this is a women's golf dress. It's giving me, I thought originally when I looked at this, that this was Lily Pulitzer, because it's giving me those vibes, but it is Cooley Bar. And this is a three quarter sleeve dress, and it's a size medium, super duper cute, very comfy but I thought that that was a great thing to pick up and just see how it does, see if it sells as well for women as it does for men. Some of them maybe don't. Uh, the other thing I have to share with you is this sweater that I'm wearing. You guys saw me pick it up in the video. This is Missoni for Target. I just decided to wear it for the video so you guys could see it, also because it looked cute in my outfit and with my makeup today, so. This is a size medium. It's got really nice long arms. I am a tall lady, so the fact that this fits me so well is surprising, uh, both in the shoulders and also in the sleeves. And it's a really nice length as well. It's like a nice duster cardigan. The reason why I know to pick this up, you know, you guys have already seen me pick up Miss Moni uh, in this Thriftmas series. Uh, to know to pick up the collaborations with Target is actually my friend Victoria over at Super Geeked. She did a whole video about like collaboration brands to pick up with Target um, to resell. So I will actually link her video up above for you guys to go watch that because it's a lot of really good information, especially if you sell women's clothing. So this is for sale. I'm not keeping this. I just wore it for the video because it's cute. The next one is this Soft Surroundings Duster Cardigan. This is like a tie-dye. This is also a medium, and it's got like these little tassels. It's not selling for a whole lot, but uh, I picked up this day 48 pieces, and it was $192 because the lady gave me a discount. I mentioned this on my Instagram. I actually made a whole post about it. Like whenever, I, especially if I'm getting a whole lot of stuff, but I normally try to unhanger everything and then organize it and then like fold it nicely so whatever they have to look at, the cashier has to look at is facing them just to make everything go faster. And then it also gives me an opportunity to double check items for flaws. Still miss some, you know, like you do. But I've had on multiple occasions because I did that and made their lives a lot easier, like gotten discounts. <laughs> I'm not saying like, again, results may vary, but you know, I always do that because it makes things go faster. It's, it, the cashiers appreciate it. And sometimes they, they help you out a little bit. So it's like $4 buy cost per item, what this is. So for $4, I will pick up this nice little cardigan. It's perfect time for the season, just like this one is. And yeah, I picked this up. And now we're gonna do some, some tops. Got a whole basket of tops here. So this is on the hanger still because I'm it's drying. I found a oil stain on it, so I got that out, thankfully, but it's still like wet around the collar, which is why I'm drying it like this because this can't go in the dryer. This is actually Peter Millar, another brand that I know of thanks to Matt's Manifesto. Uh, these don't necessarily sell as quickly as they used to when he first put out the Manifesto, but they still do sell and they sell around $20, $25 for me. So I will pick them up, especially if it's a $4 buy cost. And this is like a nice bright spring color. So I'm more than happy to pick that up. I'm gonna put that here. Moxie is laying in front of me now, so I don't have to worry about her tearing this up. And then this is a new brand to me. This is William Murphy. And it's a white 
like a golf, again, another golf brand. This is a size XL. And I was so surprised when I checked comps on this. I was just like, I was going through and I felt this and I was like, this feels really nice. Like really nice. And I was like, all right, let me look up this brand. And then when I checked comp, I was like, oh, okay, well, that's going in my cart. Thank you very much. So William Murphy, uh, I will definitely be on the lookout for that going forward. And maybe you guys now too. I of course picked up some vintage because it's me. I have to pick up vintage. <laughs> I don't have to, but I love picking up vintage. This is something that might go in the rotating reseller closet because it is my size. Um, this is just a nice little nineties knit top, short sleeve knit top. I can sell these all day long. This is actually a great blend. This is a silk cotton blend The again with vintage, the brand doesn't necessarily matter, but it's city silk knitwear and it's just a silk cotton blend. Absolutely wonderful. And it's like, a green gray color and black. I think it's like messing with the camera right now, but yeah, I will definitely put this in the rotating reseller closet and wear it maybe a couple times before it sells. I do not find Vineyard Vine very often in my area when it's not super marked up because a lot of the, a lot of the thrift stores around here like to mark up Vineyard Vine, at least in Williamsburg. In Newport News, they don't do that as often, which I find surprising, but I found this and it's a size large. I probably would have actually given this to the boy, except the boy doesn't really wear pink. <laughs> and it's a pink blue. I think men in pink is very nice. Especially like if they have like rosy undertones in their skin, it's pretty. It makes them pretty. I don't know why they don't, I don't know why men don't want to feel pretty. But it's finger vines, size large, nice little button, button front. So not a whole lot of money, but these are nice basics to have in any, any basic masculine wardrobe in my personal opinion. And we have more vintage. So I found another knit top. Sag Harbor is one of the vintage brands that I do like to pick up. Sag Harbor is still being made. Uh, and the logo has not changed much since they were vintage. The way you can tell if a Sag Harbor piece is vintage or not is if it says made in China. If it says made in China, it is a more modern piece. If it says made in Hong Kong or Korea, like this one does, it is vintage. So this is from the nineties, pretty much on trend right now. We got the horizontal 90 stripes in a size large. Another thing that I could probably wear until it sells. But yeah, I love picking up these little knit tops from Sag Harbor. They're pretty consistent movers. It, they do take a while to move sometimes, but yeah. Those will probably move closer to springtime. This is a loft piece. I rarely pick up loft, but I have mentioned before on this channel how much I like picking up linen and linen blend pieces. Um, Cause I have, even with mall brands, really good luck selling them. This is a loft piece and it's just cute. This is a size large, it's a little bit too big for me. Um, but it's, I thought that this was so flattering. I love these square necks and this nice like little flowy uh, what's the sleeve? I could not think of the word sleeve for some reason, but I just thought this was so cute and it's a linen, I think it's a linen cotton blend. It's a little cotton blend. <laughs> Words are hard sometimes, especially when you're so tired from editing all night. Linen and viscose, even better. So this just has really nice movement to it because of the viscose. Um, so I picked this up just cause I thought it was cute and you know what? I'm willing to take a gamble on cute things. We have Madewell. I also rarely find Madewell. I found so much stuff I almost never see at this thrift store. Just wait until I get into the bottoms, guys. Oh my goodness. This is an XL. Bright, beautiful orange color. I'm giving witch vibes right now. <laughs> but it has a nice little cropped tie front. I thought this was so cute. And this is actually cotton. I was so surprised by that. I thought it'd be like a viscose or a rayon blend, but no, this is 100% cotton. So like, if any of you out there are also like natural fiber, natural fabrics, <sighs> natural fabrics only, this is, this is for you. I just thought that was so cute. The color, the, the style, the, the fabric, everything adorable. And it's an XL. I almost never find larger Madewell pieces. This is a brand I haven't found in a long time. This is Ray Spooner made in Hawaii. This is a reverse print. 
so it's more vibrant on the inside and then than it is on the outside. This is a 2XL and it's 100% cotton and this nice like bright blue and white pattern. I haven't found Ray Spoon or anything in a long time, but I definitely love picking up the Hawaiian shirts. They're just consistent, easy sellers, especially once it warms up. This will probably, you know, not sell until then. But again, I just pick things up and list them when I list them, because let's be honest, except for Thriftmas so far, I've not been really good about consistently listing everything I get when in the haul. So I'm listing it when I can. <laughs> Another thing that'll probably sit until uh, springtime is a Lily Pulitzer piece. Again, another brand that my area likes to mark up, but this was not. This was just in with the regular t-shirts. Uh, it's a size medium. Bright, bright green and blue colors, which of course you know that's why I saw it, is because it's green. Uh, and this is actually 100% linen, so clicking off all the boxes for me to definitely pick it up. It's linen. It's a good brand. It's green. It's my size. Uh, I may wear this until it sells. Probably not. Because this is like not quite my, my style. Like this is more my style, obviously. But yeah, I still like this. This is real, still really nice. And then I found a brand I know about from Hustle at Home Mom. I, I watch a lot of YouTubers just like you guys watch reselling YouTubers. Otherwise, why are you here? <laughs> but this is Zaya Active. This is a bra. I will not be ashamed to admit this took me way too long to figure out how to attach things <laughs> because I was like, what is the, it's, it's an adjustable strap, but it's adjustable in the front, which that's amazing. And it's got this like little hook and this little ladder system to make it adjustable up here to, I guess, boost the girls up. Um, and then it's also got this little clip on it too, if it's facing the right way, which let me turn it right here to where you can make this a razor back. Just in case you're one of those, those chesticle endowed individuals that um, prefer to have a razor back and just wear a sports bra all the time. I, I understand that. But this is a medium, this bright yellow color, and this is the Zaya Active logo. So I know about this because I hustle at home mom. This is the first time finding it. Um, and I found a bra. I rarely buy and sell bras, but you know what? We're trying everything. Again, whole point of this is to get the maximum amount of value out of the store. In addition to finding Zaya Active for the first time, I found a Lululemon top. I have never found Lululemon tops before. And this one still had the hang tag attached to it. So this is a size eight, so it's medium. This is so soft. <laughs> if I wore this color, more often, I'm never gonna, I'm honestly never going to wear this, even if I wanted to keep it. If this was green or gray or black, absolutely would be in my closet. But because it's pink or mauve, I guess this is mauve, um, I'm gonna let it go on to a new home. But this is so cool and it has, um, you could either leave, leave it long and have it be asymmetrical or you could tie this up and have a little like tie waist. So there's that. I can't believe I found a Lululemon top. It was my size and I was able to give it up. Uh, a basic bread and butter piece for me that I've bought and sold so many times is Columbia. And this is a size large, specifically the PFG line. Got these big old billowy pockets. This is bright orange color and it's long sleeve. So perfect for this time of year. Again, they don't sell for a whole lot or sell quickly, but they sell consistently for me. So I keep picking them up because they keep selling. Now, I've also prefaced this whole thriftmas thing where if it's something that I'm keeping, I have to find something to replace it. So I'm actually giving this to the boy um, because he is a giant nerd just like I am and it is his size. This is a Fallout and it's just a Fallout t-shirt with the Vault Boy on there in the front. This is a Loot Crate exclusive t-shirt. Uh, Loot Crate used to be amazing. I actually used to be sponsored by them five years ago or something because uh, I am a Twitch partner, but uh, they they have gone massively in the toilet. <laughs> like, I haven't gotten a Loot Crate in probably like 
since they sponsored me. So, <laughs> but I'm so happy I picked this up. I'm sure the boy will like it. He normally just wears these like underneath um, a button front. I would I still pick this up for resale and not for the boy? Yes, I would have because again, I'm getting things for pretty cheap. Uh, I also know that that would sell. Some of the Loot Crate shirts do better than other ones. Because Fallout is so popular, that one would have probably done well. But because I'm keeping that, even if it is to give to somebody else, I'm selling this. <laughs> this is a vintage piece I decided to add to my closet. Um, I haven't really worn it very much, so I'm not that attached to it. So I'm going to give this up or let it find a new home. And I, I'll just keep it in my closet until it sells. But... It's a beautiful, this is shirt stop. With vintage, it's not really about the brand so much as it's about the style. Um, this is from the 80s. It's a basic button front. I do love doing basic button fronts, especially when it gets warmer. So, and it's also a nice bright royal blue color. So I'm sure someone will want that and probably snatch it away from me. And I will be slightly sad when it goes, but also happy that I was able to give uh, my partner a gift. This is a new tags piece. Uh, again, more nerdy stuff. So this is The Flash uh, from DC Comics. And it is a Kohl's tag, so it is new with tags. It's just a Kohl's tag, so it's, it's not going to net much. But again, we're also trying to do more new with tag pieces because it's quarter four. People might be needing some last minute gifts. So that is why I picked that up. Speaking of new with tags, I was absolutely shocked when I found this in the men's section and it was not priced up because I found Travis Matthew, but not just Travis Matthew. No attacks Travis Matthew. It's a nice long sleeve polo. This is a men's medium. It was a nice blue color. These polos, like the short sleeve ones sell for around a hundred dollars. I think the long sleeve ones sell for a little bit more, but you know, I'm going to ask this for it just to find like a brand new Travis Matthew piece and to not have Goodwill mark it up astronomically. Again, cost averaging, $4 for this. Amazing. Again, this was like the best thrift day ever. So I don't often pick up Chico's. Actually, I think this is the first time I've ever picked up Chico's, but this is a Chico size four. So that means this is a two XL. It is a collared, it's not really a polo because I don't really think these sleeves count as polo sleeves, but a size four in Chico's because they do vanity sizing is a two XL. And this is 100% linen and this beautiful like peachy coral color. So I was so happy to find a linen piece and a brand I don't normally pick up and a really great size. So again, I've noticed a lot of this stuff might not sell until it gets warmer, but again, I list everything. Uh, I actually found two of the next item. I found two, two XL, Tesla t-shirts and they are not just like people printing Tesla logo on something which there are a lot of that on eBay. This is actually a Tesla t-shirt and a 2x except this isn't just a regular 2x this is a big and tall 2x. Uh, I got that from the measurements because this is like a 34 inch in length and like a 28 inch wide so this is this is for this is for a larger individual but it is Tesla it is branded I am selling these new without tags because they are new without tags uh, and I got two of them. So I thought that was awesome. I rarely find big and tall stuff in my area either and to find two Tesla t-shirts. I know Elon Musk is killing not only Twitter, but his escapades on Twitter is damaging Tesla stocks, but I hear they're great cars and I'm glad to find some merch. Here's the other one. <laughs> Just, I found two. There's the other one. <laughs> I've already bagged some of the, the duplicates up to make my life a little bit easier when I'm done filming this. But another brand I have never found before and another brand I know about from actually both Matt Thrift and Life and Hustle at Home Mom is Figs. And I found not one, but three new tags, Fig scrub tops in a size medium. And they're this nice royal blue color. This is the Figs technical line. So I've put these up. <laughs> we'll see what happens. But I just was like, I'm supposed to check everywhere. I almost never check the scrub section because almost every single time I check the scrub section, 
it's just Cherokee and like the cutesy like super old faded vintage scrubs that uh, all the nursing like all of the hospitals in my area here in Hampton Roads they have a color coordinated system to where like you can't wear the fun like print scrubs anymore you have a color coordinated color that you have to wear for whatever job you do in that medical field like if, if you're like in labor and delivery you have to wear a certain color or if you're someone that does the labs you have to wear so it's it's crazy so no more fun tops but these good basics i can't believe i found three brand new with tag scrub tops and then my last new with tag item not i don't know if it's i don't think it's my last new with tag items but it's my last new with tag top is this um 100 linen charter club i charter club i believe is sold at macy's um but this is brand new with tags and it's 100 linen and this is a size medium and this bright bright red color so i picked this up because again i will definitely sell any mall brand in a linen 100 linen well not any if i get it at the bins i will sell any but 100% linen piece, new with tags, beautiful color, um, and an okay mall brand. I'm going to pick that up. And now we're going to do bottoms. So as I mentioned before, if I make a mistake, <laughs> I have to own up to it. So I actually picked up a skirt and it was a beautiful vintage skirt. The reason I'm not showing it here is because I did not realize it had a big old un untoward stain on it um until i went to go wash it uh, and it was hidden in the pleating so uh, because i made that mistake i picked a pair of pants out of my own closet here and it's a pair of banana republic they're skinnies but they are corduroys these are needle cords and a needle cord is the thickness of a needle which is just an extra keyword because some people do look that up this is a pair of skinnies that definitely do not fit me anymore because again gluteus maximus is more maximus than gluteus so i picked these up to sell or pluck these out of here to sell so there are those and uh that was the first time i've made that level of mistake with clothing before I just, I was so ached out. <laughs> I also found these in the kids section. Again, I'm looking everywhere. These are a pair of vintage Levi's orange tab, uh, mom high rise denim shorts. Unfortunately, the tag is so worn. It's wash worn because it's like one of those paper tags that I actually don't know what size this was supposed to be. So I just put the measurements in and was like, this is what it, this is what it's like. So it's a high rise. It's a nice little like shorty short. It is orange tab. So it's definitely vintage. I have no idea what this will go for. Probably again, won't sell until it gets warmer outside. But I thought that was really cool to find in the kids section. This is a brand I know about from Kay over at uh, Passports and Pizza Pies. Uh, she has a wealth of knowledge about activewear brands, and that's how I know about Alphalete. <laughs> so this, believe it or not, I wish you guys could see this in person, is a size medium. And I did not believe it, because <laughs> this honestly looks like a pair of little kids medium. Like, look how skinny that is. Like, it is like my arm. And I was like, because there's no way this is an adult size medium. I can put these on. I actually can wear these. I was very tempted to keep these until I did the squat test and they did not pass the squat test. So if someone else is going to have these, maybe that will be able to pass the squat test because their, their butt isn't straining <laughs> the, the, the seams here. But this is a size medium. This is Alpha Lee. This is really cool that I found this brand for the first time. A little sad that this didn't pass the squat test because I definitely need a new pair of black leggings, but this was great. Super excited to find these for the first time. And Kay, if you're watching this, thank you again for sharing all of your activewear knowledge because you have helped me out multiple times. 
The next thing I had to share with you is in more scrubs, except these are the bottoms, and these are navy. Um, when I was going through the scrubs, you guys saw that I found figs. I also found this brand, which is Janu, and I looked up, and their comps were actually really close to figs, and when you feel the fabric, the fabric is also really close to the figs fabric. It does feel a lot like Lululemon. But these are joggers, and I found, again, not one, but like three pairs of these, all in a size medium. That's, that's figs, which you'll see in a second. Okay, those are all the figs. I've already like bagged these up or at the bottom somewhere. I don't know. I found three of these. They're all a size medium. They're all in the navy blue. I was also tempted to keep a pair of these because they kind of just feel like you're wearing a pair of jogger sweatpants. Again, they feel a lot like Lululemon, but I put these up for sale. I just put three quantity of three because they're all the exact same style. They're all the exact same color and they're all the exact same condition actually. They're in really great shape. As I was accidentally prefacing, uh, I found more figs. I found, this is the medium. Yeah, so I found two mediums. Here is figs. This is, again, it's just gonna say figs on it somewhere or it's gonna have like this little stylized plus size on the corner somewhere. But I found two mediums of these fig scrub jogger bottoms. And then I found a large as well, which I'm not gonna be able to find now. That, that's the medium, it's the other medium. I found two mediums and then I found one large. And these ones have a different waistband than the other ones did. So this one has like more of a, if you look, it's different. I don't know how to describe it. This is like a flatter one and this one has more crinkly. I don't know. But these ones are the large ones. And again, these are also joggers as well. So I found three brand new with tag medium scrub tops. And then I found three pairs of scrub bottom in figs. So I cannot express to you the amount of giddiness I was at this point in the shopping trip. I was like, <laughs> I was on cloud nine, to be honest. Um, now we have some skirts. So again, I did pick up a bunch of, of skirts. My one boo-boo. And then this one, this is Cambridge Dry Goods. This is actually one of the few times where the brand does matter but that's because of the aesthetic that this brand normally has. This is Cambridge Dry Goods. This is a really great Southwestern kind of blanket print. It is a actually a wrap skirt. So it is button wrap skirt. It's the only attachment. So better hope that button holds. But this, it says a size six, but it fits more like a modern extra small because it's, it's a high-waisted thing and the, it, this only measures like at 24 inches. So it's it's an extra small in my opinion. But it's this great maxi length uh, and this is 100% cotton. So I picked this up. Um, if you can get the blanket, so this is just cotton, but if you can get the blanket skirts, the blanket wrap skirts by this vintage brand, those can go for almost up to like $50 depending on the print. More Madewell. I was able to actually find the actual style name for this. Uh, which was great because it also gave me the fabric content because the fabric content tag is missing on this skirt. I could not find it anywhere, but this is a size six. It's a linen blend. Uh, it's a lovely jacquard blend with these nice little like triangles, but this was a great skirt. I was super excited to find this. Again, I don't find very much made well in my area. So the fact that I've been able to find a couple of pieces so good. And then this is more linen because I've mentioned lots of times I love linen. And this is 100% linen and it is loft because again, happy to pick up mall brands if it is a great fabric and 100% linen skirt with pockets. I'm definitely going to peek, 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 peek. I'm going to take a peek at it and then I'm going to pick it up. These are amazing. So excited about that. I just, I found so much good stuff. Now these I picked up because I hoped that I could wear them. I can't, <laughs> again, butt's too big. But this is a pair of Eddie Bauer in a size six. And these are a nice pair of Bermuda hiking shorts. Um, 
again, it fits around my waist, just can't put my butt in them. So these are going to go to somebody else. Hopefully they'll find them a good home. Uh, again, Zaya Active, I not only found the sports bra, I also found a pair of their leggings. This is an 810. And I was also able to find the exact style and colorway for this one too. Google Lens is your best friend. Y'all, this video is so long. <laughs> I hope you're still here. <laughs> but it's a nice green and black. Again, Zaya Active, it looks like just a, a moon or a thumbnail. However you want to, I'm sure it's supposed to be a moon. But Zaya Active is, uh, what is it? LuLaRoe? It's uh, one of those MLM brands, but it's like actually good quality stuff. Excited to try to sell this brand for the first time. Hopefully it does well. And if this doesn't sell within six months, I might keep these. So something else I had to like try really, really hard not to keep and I'm not keeping them for one reason and one reason only. So I actually found a pair of Lululemon leggings in my size. These are a size six and I actually um, really like this color. And I know it's a size six because it has the size dot in there, even if it doesn't have the little pull tag on it anymore. Um, I was also able to find the exact name for this by Google Lens as well. I tried these on, they did look very cute, but they're not a full length tight. So I have a bad knee. Um, well, I have a knee that has had a lot of damage done to it from roller derby. Uh, and after that happened, I can't wear um, capri length leggings anymore it will start if it rides up at all it will like pull on my my knee and it doesn't like it so that's the only reason i'm not keeping these they looked really good on they felt amazing i now know i'm a size six in lululemon <laughs> and if i find any more that are full length or the shorts i will pick them up and probably keep them but these are up for sale hopefully they'll go to a new home they are asymmetrical everything about this I loved except for the length and it's not that I didn't love the length because I had a lot of capris before I messed up my knee um, but I ended up having to sell all of them because I had a bunch of Stella McCartney X Adidas in the capri length because that was the length I liked um, but I had to get rid of all of them and by rid of I mean I sold them uh, after my my knee injury so those gotta find a new home and I think that's everything yeah because these are just the two other pairs of Janu scrub bottoms that I've already shown you guys. So that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot of stuff. Ah, I hope you guys uh, liked this haul. This was epic. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if I'm going to have another thrift haul like this for thriftmas. Gosh, I hope not. Cause that was like 50 items. <laughs> that's a lot of stuff to list, <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I hope you're enjoying Thrift Miss. I hope you're still here at the end of the video. Uh, if you are, leave like a cat emoji or something for Miss Moxie. And I will see you guys tomorrow for another video. Uh, bye! Bye.